Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. After all, the Netherlands has made its own choice. After several months of negotiations, China failed to change the attitude of the Netherlands. According to the official news from the Netherlands, it was decided to implement an export control ban on some DUV lithography machines on September 1. In the future, China's desire to purchase lithography machines from ASML in the Netherlands will add more variables. Just after the Netherlands announced the ban on lithography machines, China counterattacked. The Ministry of Commerce and the General Administration of Customs issued announcements to implement export controls on items related to gallium and germanium. How will the export of these two materials be restricted to the United States? The Netherlands is the largest producer of lithography machines in the world. ASML works closely with other semiconductor equipment manufacturers, material suppliers, and chip manufacturers to form a complete supply chain ecosystem. Dutch lithography machine manufacturers are famous for their advanced technology and high-quality products not only occupying a place in the European market, but also having a huge influence globally. Chip manufacturing giants such as TSMC, Samsung, and SMIC all need to find ASML in the Netherlands to purchase lithography equipment for chip manufacturing production lines. The United States was afraid of the rise of Chinese chips, so it reached an agreement with the Netherlands to further modify the rules for the shipment of lithography machines. The United States has restricted the export of EUV lithography machines, this time targeting DUV lithography machines. The Netherlands decided to implement export control rules on September 1st, and high-end equipment in DUV lithography machines cannot be shipped freely unless the Dutch government issues a license to ASML. Now that things have developed to this point, it is needless to say whether ASML can obtain a license. Doesn't China have countermeasures? Not necessarily. After the Netherlands announced the ban on lithography machines, China counterattacked and will restrict the export of chip raw materials. China's Ministry of Commerce and the General Administration of Customs jointly issued an announcement to implement export control on items related to gallium and germanium, and the export control will be officially implemented from August 1. At the critical moment when the Netherlands announced the ban, China restricted the export of gallium and germanium, which shows that the importance of these two materials is extraordinary. In fact, these two materials have already been included in the National Strategic Mineral List by China. Gallium is a metallic element with a low melting point and good electrical conductivity. Its physical and chemical properties make it an important semiconductor material. Gallium is used in solar panels, semiconductor transistors, optoelectronic devices, and more. Germanium is a typical semimetal. Its characteristics include high refractive index and thermal conductivity, as well as a small energy gap. It is very critical to use it to make transistor materials. Semiconductors are just one of the application fields of these materials. From a more comprehensive perspective, industrial manufacturing, optical fiber communication, infrared optics, aerospace, biomedicine, etc. are all inseparable from the support of these two materials. 
So how will China's restrictions on the export of gallium and germanium materials affect the United States? This may pose certain challenges to the U.S. semiconductor industry, as U.S. semiconductor manufacturers may face supply shortages and rising costs. In addition, export restrictions may disrupt the supply chain in the United States, thereby affecting the production and development of related industries. China has a great advantage in controlling gallium and germanium materials. China is the world's largest germanium ore producer and one of the important suppliers of gallium ore. Moreover, China has established a complete gallium and germanium industry chain, including ore mining, smelting and purification, and material processing. China's ability to impose export restrictions on the United States shows that China has a greater advantage in this field, so that it can give the United States sufficient countermeasures. The United States must know that the price of injuring 1,000 enemies and 800 self-injuries is not so easy to bear. Things have come to this point it's time to break the illusion. Many people still hold the concept that buying is worse than renting and building is worse than buying. They think that money can solve the problem and foreign countries will sell the equipment they want to China. Little do they know that the real core technology cannot be bought or exchanged for any amount of money. When others have mastered the core technology, whether to limit is just a matter of words. Only when one's own strength has improved and let others know that blindly restricting will only bring unnecessary losses to oneself, can it be possible to break the rules. Therefore, China needs to increase investment in independent research and development of lithography machines to improve the technical level and market competitiveness of domestic lithography machines. By increasing investment in scientific research and technological innovation, China can gradually reduce its dependence on imported lithography machines. It can also further enhance the manufacturing capacity of the lithography machine and improve the production efficiency and quality level. By strengthening the research and development of manufacturing technology and process, the degree of automation of the production line is improved, and the output and quality of lithography machines are increased to meet domestic demand. We can also find more reliable suppliers to cooperate with and build a production line that does not contain American technology to ensure the stability of the supply chain. Solving the problems of lithography machines needs to accumulate over time. High-end EUV lithography machines contain 100,000 parts, which is destined to be not an easy task. But no matter how difficult it is, Chinese scientific researchers will not give up moving forward, hoping that one day they can break the ice with domestic lithography machines as soon as possible. If you agree with the point of view of this video, please like it, welcome to forward, leave a message and share.